Hey everyone, it's Peek. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Pokemon Unite video about respawn timers in this game. So shout out to Zephyr54. They compiled this information on this post. They came they uh, came up with this like formula, basically, that is a pretty accurate determination of how long your respawn timer is going to be. If you have been in any of my Twitch streams, um, a lot of people ask like, what is one of my biggest issues with the game? And this is something I bring up often that the death respawn timers are uneven uh, for the winning team and there's a reason for that and it's actually been you know mathematically calculated now so we're actually going to take a look at this today i think this is important information for you guys to know i will just go over it in high level um but the basic principle here is that yes you are punished by doing better with longer death timers and it's a actually very significant amount of punishing that you get for this so I, uh, you know, I'll talk about what I think about this after the video or after I kind of describe this formula and go through this stuff, but let's just hop right into it. So, um, one thing we need to get out of the way is here at this point, and again, I'll link this post in the description so you guys can check it out for yourselves, but there is a difference for this formula between a death when you're knocked out by an enemy Pokemon, like an enemy player, or an execution, which is technically when you're like going to just be killed by an NPC. So like if Dreadnought kills you, you just didn't have enough health to quite take out Dreadnought and he ends up water gunning you right in the face to knock you out. This doesn't actually contribute to uh, like resetting your death timer. So it is not a viable strategy to like go and die to a wild Pokemon because that won't actually reset this whole formula. So the way it kind of works is like there are a bunch of variables that go into this. Um, and then once you've died, all those variables are kind of reset. But there are some variables that don't reset that scale with like your level and like the time of the match. So let's just kind of go into the formula here. So um, D is the death respawn timer. That's obviously the main equalizer of all these things. And the first and only like non addition thing here is a, uh, a divide a division here. So it's going to be P minus uh, divided by 40. So this is the sum of the points scored since last last death. So essentially all you need to know for this like P over 40 variable in the formula is that for every 40 points you score, you're going to add a one second to your respawn timer. So if you score 120 points since you last died to an enemy player, that means you are going to have an extra three seconds tacked on to your death timer just for playing the game correctly and scoring points. Kind of yikes. So moving on to the actual just plain old addition things, L is going to be the duration uh, depending on a Pokemon level at death time. So Basically, L scales with your player level. You will obviously be dead the higher level you are. You will be dead longer the higher level you are. So in the first like four levels of the match, you know, if you accidentally run into the enemy's spawn and you get killed right away, um, you're only going to have a four second death timer here. Like none of these other variables are really going to apply. So that's, you know, pretty nice. Um, so that's where you're able to get back so quickly early in the match. But we're talking like at the end of the match it really bumps up once you get like level 12 so you can see from 11 level 11 all the way to level 12 it's a four second differential in the death timer so that's a pretty significant amount of time uh four seconds is enough time for an enemy to wipe out like 50 percent of the health of a dreadnought of a zapdos stuff like that so this stuff really matters to know um so yeah around level 12 is when you're gonna have to start really being weary of like okay i probably shouldn't be dying here and stuff like that right but before then, you can see the numbers are quite generous um, in terms of like how long you're dead for. So the next variable is K, um, which is the number of knockouts you've gotten since you last died to an enemy player. Again, this all depends on since you last died to an enemy player, not if you just get killed by a wild Pokemon on the map. Um, so for every one kill, that's another one second added on, right? So, um, you know, you get a Penta kill, you wipe the enemy team, but unfortunately, you die to like a Machamp coming back from spawn with his low death timer. Um, then, you know, you're going to get five more seconds added on to your death timer because you've got those five kills since the last time you were killed. If you get two Penta kills in a row, you're just like cleaning up team fights. And then at the end of the game, um, you know, you accidentally die to like a Zapdos Thunderbolt Blast or something. You're actually going to have an increased death timer of 10 seconds on top of everything else in this formula. So, um, the K value can be very punishing to a player that's performing really well and getting a lot of kills and a lot of scores as well. Um, uh, da, 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 which is what we're going to talk about next. Of course, P, uh, I think I already mentioned that. Yeah. So P is the sum of the points scored since the last death. Of course, every time, um, you are scoring 40 points 
or more, that's going to kind of go towards that. So if you've scored 120, three seconds added onto your death timer. The last value in this formula is T. So T is just basically where the game is at in the game stage. So for the first eight minutes, you can see the T values are down here. Um, greater than two minutes left in the match, zero seconds, like, are added onto your death timer. So this really doesn't come into effect until the last two minutes of the match. So between the last one minute and the last two minutes, you get an extra four seconds added onto your death timer. But if you die in the last one minute of the match, 10 whole seconds are added onto your death timer. So basically you can count on just not being back in the game pretty much. Um, cause this is very, very punishing. Um, yeah. So all that kind of comes together for this to kind of determine how long your respawn timer is. So let's just say like worst case scenario, right? You, um, are level 15. So that's 19 seconds for L you've gotten a pentakill. Let's say you've only gotten five kills since the last time you died to be a little bit generous. So that's going to be five more seconds with K. So we got 19 plus, oh, oops, sorry. I have this, uh, <laughs> I have this, uh, follow alert enabled. Um, it's going to be 19 plus five, that's 24. And let's say you just scored off, um, off a of Zapdos or something, right? Um, and you score hundred points. So that's going to be two more seconds because you've scored hundred points. Um, so that's already 19 plus five plus two, and you die in the last minute of the game, that is going to be an additional 10 seconds. So 19 plus five is 24, plus two is 26, plus 10 is 36. So, um, and those are like very conservative numbers, right? Like you only had five kills, you've only scored that many points. If you haven't died the whole game, it can be even worse than that, right? You can get death timers of up to like 50 seconds or so if you kind of pop off in the game and then die at the end. So. Something you need to be aware of, of course. It is, uh, it's very unfortunate, I think, that the death timers aren't a little more equalized. I think if you, like, I think, like, honestly, all this is fine, other than, like, the L value. It's kind of, or I guess, like, the K value is kind of weird, too. Like, I don't really know of a game that just, you know, kind of scales its death timers off of, like, how well you're performing in terms of kill and points, kills and points scored. Um, to me, that's kind of weird. Obviously, L, duration of how long the game is going and what your level is, I think is like okay, but I think K and P, like L is debatable, of course, but K and P is weird. So anyway, that's kind of how the formula works. Do I think it's fair? Not necessarily. I really think that, you know, death timer should be equalized. I don't think there's any reason to like punish the winning team even more because there's already so many like different catch-up mechanics in this game that really do punish uh people who are doing well in the game so the fact that you know i can get 15 kills and that's 15 seconds added onto a death timer at level 15 that's gonna be 19 it's 34 already right and then if i score like 200 points 39 and then in the last 10 uh, in the last one minute of the game 49 second death timer just for like just for doing well and obviously the last minute of the game is very important. So I think this is fair, right? I think 10 seconds at the end of the match is totally fair, but you know, I would like to see this kind of changed around and just made so like, if you get a team kill in the Zapdos pit in the last, uh, in the last two minutes of the game, it matters, right? I think it's the biggest issue with this game right now is that like team fights are so inconsequential, except when they happen in the very last minute of the game, when the game is kind of probably really close to already being decided. Um, but in the last two minutes, that's really when like, you know, double points are happening. You should really be able to make plays. And if your team is good enough to wipe the enemy team um, with their Unite moves and stuff like that, like I think you deserve to not have the enemy team then come back with like, you know, 10, 15 second death timers because they were losing a bunch and they didn't have any of these extra variables going into the Zapdos fight and increasing their death timer. So that's just kind of my opinion. I think I would like to see that change in the future. Do I think it will happen? Mm, probably not, but you know, it's important that you guys know that this exists. Basically, I think the TLDR is starting at level 12, definitely start watching out for your death timers because they do increase substantially and they scale off of kills, they scale off of points, and they scale off of time remaining in the game. That's all you need to know. So, hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Um, shout out again to Zephyr54. I will link this post below for you guys to review for yourselves. Um, but anyway, follow me on Twitter. It's the best way to keep up on Unite News and when I'm going live on Twitch and stuff like that. And follow me on Twitch, because uh, I have been live streaming on there pretty frequently. So, 
love to hang out with you guys and interact there. And speaking of that, join the Discord. Uh, lots of awesome people there. And you can always ask me questions. Just at me and hit me up and we can talk. Um, just in like the general chat or wherever. So uh, yeah, appreciate you guys watching and hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know if you did and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.